The, the heart, as we all know, is a fist-sized organ which is uh, present in the center of the chest, more towards the left side. And it is a very muscle-bound structure and these muscles are cont continuously uh, contracting and they require a lot of blood supply to, you know, to meet their energy needs. And this blood supply is provided by these tiny arteries that are on the outside of the heart. So the LED which runs in the front of the heart the right coronary which runs on the right side of the heart and then the circumflex artery which supplies blood to the back of the heart. So together these three arteries supply blood to the entire heart. As a person ages, the, particularly if the individual is diabetic or has high blood pressure or has a history of smoking, he tends to develop blockages in the heart's arteries. Now if you look at this, this is the cut section of a normal healthy artery and you see that it is very clean, pristine and small deposits of yellowish plaque start developing inside the wall of the artery and you would be surprised to know that this process starts very early in life, even in the second decade of life itself. However, it takes at least three to four decades before it progresses to a point where the plaque buildup is so much that it actually restricts the flow of blood. Even when it is at this stage, the person has no clue because the blood supply at rest is good enough to meet the demands of the heart muscles. However, the individual may feel chest pain or breathlessness when he exerts, like going up a flight of stairs or running or exercising. When heart attack happens, the plaque ruptures like this, forms a clot which clogs off the uh, channel. And this sudden occlusion and loss of blood supply leads to death of the heart muscle and that is what we call heart attack.